Mom Diva, and in today's video, we're going to tour this manufactured home. I'm out here at Home Max in Lexington, South Carolina. This is model number three. All of their homes are labeled one, two, three, etc. This is number three. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk around and let you see what the back looks like before we go in and tour the home. All right, this one has a sliding glass door in addition to a back door, as you can see there. I can't wait to show you this home. I did wanna show you, however, they're preparing to take that home out. Let's see if I can zoom in. They're preparing to take that home out and deliver it. Somebody's gonna get their home today. That is the front getting ready to head out. So that's what it looks like when you go to take your home you take possession of your home it comes in two parts okay all right let's go in and look at model number three i'm out here because one of our subscribers heard i was coming to lexington south carolina and she said hey before you when you go you gotta go by homex she actually purchased model number two um if you're interested in seeing the home that she purchased it'll be in the i card above okay all right, let's go in and see what we got. Hi family, just a quick disclaimer. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specifications, all the information that I have will be down in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, we just entered through that door. When you come in, the first thing you see is this entry table that greets you. You've got cabinets and a cutout here. So you've got space to stick stuff in. I don't know, you might wanna put shoes underneath, have hats and coats or book bags or whatever. In the cabinets, you've got space for decor up there, but you've got, you don't have to purchase an entry table. This one comes with one. Got lots of space to line up book bags, briefcases, laptop bags, etc. So that is your entryway. You've also got this little shelf area here it gives it a nice separation in the entryway from the front door once you come through the entry this is your dining your oh uh, not your dining room your living room right here space for 80 or inch tv up there you guys that area is huge so you've got not only do you have a fireplace in the bottom, you've got cabinet space, shelving, and a space for a huge TV. All right, so this is your living room here. You've got a ceiling fan in the ceiling. You've got three large windows, and you've got all of the space in your living room area. You've also got a coat closet when you first walk in. I left the door open for light. So sorry for the noise. But you've got space for storage as well as coats in that closet. Really nice. So you got a coat closet, your entryway, and all of this living room. All right. Now you can look into the kitchen and the dining room. I love the separation here. I love it, love it, love it. So we'll go in the dining room area first. You've got pendant lights in the dining room. You've got space for a, a large table. You can put a buffet in here. You've got ship lap on the wall. You can get it with or without. And you also have the sliding glass doors in there. So really nice dining room area love the color of the floors with the nice wood planks super super nice on into your kitchen you've got 
your built-in microwave here, lots of cabinet space, upper and lower cabinets. For every lower cabinet, there is a drawer, always a nice touch. And I think that that has been the theme in all of the homes that I've toured here at HomeX. So I'm really impressed with that, that they really pay attention to that detail and make it good for you and your family to not have to add those additional things. You have two um, small windows on either side of the stove. That's the ceramic top stove. Um, you've got white cabinets in here and the light marble um, countertops. Really nice. And as always, I'll open a cabinet so you can see you've got the tall cabinet. So you have three shelves in there. Lots of plugs for your appliances. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plugs. So you've got space for lots and lots of appliances. You've also got this nice island. Um, it has two levels, the lower level. You can prep, you can wash dishes, you've got your dishwasher, you've got cabinets, and you've got more plugs, one, two, here in the island. You've got this cabinet, these cabinets on the end. Let's go see if there are ca the, the, if you have cabinets on this side. And you've got cabinets on this side. In addition, you have space for two bar stools on this side of the kitchen island. Really nice kitchen, lovely kitchen. This kitchen also has a pantry. Love the nice touch of the pantry door. Really nice. So this is your pantry. You got lots of space in this pantry for your supplies. Three shelves in here and then lots of room on the bottom. Really lovely. Off the kitchen, you've got this desk area. You've got desk and cabinets here. So you've got space for the kids to do homework while you're, while you're cooking, which is always a nice touch. All right, so, very nice. So off the kitchen, that's the master, but let's take a look at the utility room. So you have to go around this corner here into the utility room. You've got your back door there. Your washer and dryer will go on that wall. And then you've got cabinet space with drawers and cabinets on the bottom. And then additional cabinets, upper cabinets. And you got space to fold your clothes right here. That's what you choose to do in this area. So very nice, very nice. Really nice. I've toured another home just like this one it was made by live oak this one is actually made by champion if you know the name of that home go ahead and put it down in the description box okay all right very nice so back through the kitchen through the living room I'll give you one more sweep really nice Sweep of the kitchen. Dining room. All right, so let's go down this hallway and see the guest bedrooms. To the left right here, you have guest bedroom number one. So they're still putting this house together, so excuse the decor. But this is your guest bedroom. You have two big windows in the guest bedroom. Let's take a look at the closet. You have a walk-in closet in here. Really nice. All right. So that's the guest bedroom, number one. This is guest bedroom number two. 
You only have one window in here versus two in the other room. Now, this place has lights in their homes and I don't need them because of all the lighting. <laughs> that is your uh, walk-in closet. The other one is slightly bigger, but you still have a nice walk-in closet. Really nice. And then this is your guest bath. Let's see if we can find the light. Oh, ooh, it has an LED lighting. Really nice touch. LED lighting in the guest bath. And there's the rest of your guest bathroom. You've also got pendant lighting in here. Super nice. And then you've got three storage storage cabinets here in the guest bathroom really really nice really nice so again down this hall you've got two guest bedrooms and your guest bathroom and i'll cut the lights off really nice i can't get over this led light in this mobile home All right, over here, you've got your master. So this is the master bedroom. Ceiling fan in here. Nice space. In the master bedroom, you got two big windows in here. Love, love, love. So this is the master. We won't look at the master bath yet because that would definitely give it away what house this is. Just wanted you to see how much space. So let's take a look at the master closet. In the master closet, you have a window here behind the door. I'm gonna come in and shut the door. So you have this window here. I would probably put a bench under the window. And then you've got all of this shelving in your master. I would probably extend this around. And then you have this unit over here, shoes, purses, hats, toiletries, whatever you decide is gonna be there. And then you have this huge, huge mirror. Really nice. So this is the master closet, you guys. Really nice. All right, let's go check out the master bath. To the right, you have another one of those units that you can, you have lots of space for storage here on the right. Very nice. And let's go ahead and sweep. Now you know what house this is. This should be the giveaway. To the right, you have a window here. That is your hot water heater. You have a window here and you have one sink. And we also have, uh oh, must be over here. The LED lighting in here. So you've got lots of drawers and, a, and cabinets, uh, his and her sides. Here's the other side, same setup. Really nice. So his and her sides. You can do whatever you like with all of this space. If it's additional seating or what have you, makeup table or whatever. You have this huge, huge shower. This is not the standard shower, you guys. Need you to understand this is definitely an upgrade. You've got a bench, you've got bench seating in here. And then you've got two shower heads. You've got a regular shower head that comes down and then you've got 
that large rain shower, shower head, and a transom window up top. Really awesome. You've got pendant lights in the ceiling, in the shower, and then you've got this peep window that looks out into the bedroom. Uh, honey, bring me a towel. You can scream. <laughs> And you can see if he moves. <laughs> and then you've got your toilet room right here that also has storage. Really, really nice. So again, this is model number three. I'm out here at Home Max in Lexington, South Carolina. Lex Home Max Manufacturing Home. They do not post prices. If you're interested in knowing the price of this home or any information on this home, all of the information I have is down in the description box below. Go ahead and check it out, okay? All right, thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. Yeah.